As a member of a marching unit, one of the most tedious aspects of the marching season is leaping through drill set printouts and painstakingly copying down your own personal coordinates for each drill set. With Drill, you no longer have to do that. Drill can auto-generate printable coordinate sheets for all of your marching unit's cast members. Okay, so let's look at how to generate coordinate sheets in Drill. Here I have a brand new Drill document with one empty drill set. First I'll edit my show's cast members by clicking the Edit Cast button on the bottom left. The Edit Cast sheet appears where I can edit all of the sections in my marching unit. To keep things very simple for demonstration purposes, I'm going to remove all of these sections except for brass. And then I'll specify just three members in the brass section, so my entire cast will consist of just three brass players. I'll click OK to commit the changes to my cast and the sheet disappears. Now I'll add a single straight line formation path to the first set. Click on the pen tool in the top left, and then click anywhere on the canvas once to begin a formation path. Then double click to complete the formation path. OK, now I'll click anywhere on the canvas to deselect my formation path. And now notice what has appeared in the inspector on the right. There's a new palette there titled Set Validation. The Set Validation palette displays any problems with the current set that would prevent it from being able to generate coordinate sheets for your cast members. You can see that this palette is currently displaying several validation warnings. These warnings must be fixed before I can print coordinate sheets for my members. So let's look at these warnings. The first one says 15 unassigned members in quote formation. Formation is the name of my formation path on the canvas. I can tell that in the following way. Look at the top right of the window and you'll find the outline. The outline displays a list of all objects on the canvas in the currently selected drill set. You can see here there is one item in the outline named formation. This represents my formation path on the canvas and when I click it, it turns blue to represent that it's selected and the formation path is selected on the canvas too. There's two other buttons here on the right lock icon that allows you to lock any object on the canvas. This prevents further changes to that object until it's first unlocked. And next to that is the visibility checkbox, which allows you to hide the selected object from the canvas. In the outline here, you can also edit the name of any object by double clicking on the name. So I'll change the name of my formation path to be brass line, and then I'll press the return key on the keyboard to commit the change. Okay, so now I'll once again click anywhere on the canvas to deselect my formation path, and the set validation palette reappears, still showing several warnings. But now the first warning is a little more clear. 15 unassigned members in quote, brass line. So you can see the warnings use the name I specified in the outline just now. Anyhow, I need to resolve these validation warnings before I can generate coordinate sheets. The first warning is telling me that I need to specify the cast members that comprise my formation path named brass line. So to do that, I'll click on my formation path to select it, and therefore the inspector on the right will display the cast palette with the cast details of my selected formation path. Remember my marching unit consists of only three brass members, so first I'm going to decrease the number of cast members in my formation path down to three. Now I need to specify the cast members. I'll click on the plus button at the bottom to add a span of members. The brass section is pre-selected because it's the only selection and I'll leave the first index as 1 and set the count to 3. Notice that as I make these changes, the formation path on the canvas is updating itself to reflect the changes. Now I'll once again click anywhere on the canvas to deselect my formation path, and look, the inspector is now empty. No set validation warnings are appearing at all. That means my drill set is correct and I am free to generate coordinate sheets. But not just yet, I want to create a couple more drill sets first. There's a few different ways to do that, but I'll use the Formation Path Projection feature to project my formation path across multiple sets. To do that, I'll right-click on my formation path and select Project Formation. A sheet will appear, and I'll choose to insert the selected formation path starting in set 2 into two sets total. When added to the set we already have, that will leave us with three drill sets total, all containing a copy of the same formation path. So I'll click the project button, and now you can see the three drill sets displayed up top. And all three sets contain a copy of our formation path. Now I'll select the second drill set, and then on the canvas I'll move our formation, our formation path to the center of the field. Then I'll select the third drill set and move our formation path over to the left. And I'll select the beat counts of the last two drill sets and set them to 64 beats each to give the members plenty of time to get all the way across the field to the next drill set. Now our show consists of three drill sets with three brass players moving horizontally across the field. 
and there's no validation warnings appearing in the inspector on the, on the right, so let's generate our sheets for our cast members. To generate coordinate sheets, go to the main menu, File, Generate Coordinate Sheets. There's a keyboard shortcut to Shift-Command-E. You'll see a progress meter appear, Success, and the coordinate sheets will open in Safari for printing. You can see here that Safari has launched and is displaying a page with coordinates for each of the three cast members. Each member has three sheets of coordinates, one for each drill set. Now I can print these with File, Print. And take a close look at the print preview. You can see that each of the members' coordinate sheets will print on a separate page. As I scroll through the pages, I can see each member gets their own page with just their coordinates. So printing and passing out these sheets to your members is easy. And that's everything you need to know about generating coordinate sheets in Drill. Thank you.